Hey everyone, my name's Drew and we are here. This is going to be week eight of our PGBL matches and it's going to be up against a really, really good friend, Josh in Vivid Color. And it's been a long time since we battled him. We haven't faced him until season one and he beat us pretty darn well. I really did think that I had the team back then. Uh, he had a full on rain team and I had a really, really fun team. And I also at that time had Necrozma. I'm not quite sure if I transacted for uh, Zygarde 10% at that point, but it's going to be a fun little reunion in, in that sense, but no Z charge beam to Crows at this time. Okay, I just had to make one really small adjustment to the team, but I'm just clicking let the battle begin. I have everything imported into uh, Showdown, into the damage calc, and I'm just going to hope for the best. I'm just going to have to see how this team matches up. He has a monster team, but he just hasn't had, been having the best time, but let's see. Uh, I'm going to finally take a screenshot of his team. Okay. Okay, I have it here. So let's see. Starmie, Nita Queen, Superior, Mega Altaria. No Celesteela. That's kind of wild. Uh, Silvalli and Alolan Persian. So full on parting shot situation going on. Uh, let me think here. Let me think. Low Punny has a really fun time in this match. I wouldn't want to lead with it though. Uh, I mean, part of me just wants to lead off with the Electros here. Electros seems like a pretty decent lead here. Um, Zygarde has a decent amount of fun here. Let me see. Necrozma's not going to be as big as I might have thought. I don't know. It could do things. It could definitely do things. Um, hmm. I'm either going to lead off with my Electros or my Infernape, but which one? Nah, it's gotta be Electros. It's gotta be Electros here. Alright, this is going to be pretty crazy. Like I said, um, I have no idea what to expect. He hasn't had the best time this season, but he's obviously really, really good. I've been having an okay season. I really do need this win. My plan is to win out. I really desperately want to win out the rest of the season, but who knows how this is gonna go. Who knows? Let's see, starts off with the Alolan Persian, I believe? Yeah, okay, it is the Alolan Persian. Um, he can do whatever he wants, but this is a pretty free U-turn for me. Part of me also, hmm, I also have to remind myself of my set, because I don't exactly remember. U-turn, Thunderbolt, Aqua Tail, and um, Acid Spray. So he might expect a U-turn, but either way, I'm slower, and I don't see what he would do up against it. Um, I feel like either way, I'm going to be able to pivot out here. Uh, oh, let me actually do that. There we go. That's probably going to help. Um, I'm wondering if it's worth it to try to Thunderbolt into this thing. Huh, it might be worth it. Wait, U-Turn's also doing a decent amount of damage. He could... I feel like he wouldn't bring in the Superior. He might bring in the Nita Queen. Maybe... I don't know. I'm just going to click Thunderbolt. If the Nita Queen does come in, parting shot. Okay. So, I kind of do re regret not clicking... Um, not clicking use her now. This is probably going to give him the opportunity to go into the Nita Queen here. I do have the Aqua Tail for the Nita Queen, but I don't know what that's quite going to do. Although, the Nita Queen's going to take a turn to set up spikes. Getting that out of the way reasonably early would be pretty huge. Let me see. I do have to remember that I'm at minus one. I do have to remember that I'm, min I'm at minus one. That is the Nita Queen. At minus one, Aqua Tail, Aqua Tail goes from a two hit KO to a three hit KO, but I don't know. That damage still seems pretty darn worth it to me. That damage still seems worth it to me. You turn at minus one would have done like seven percent anyway, so I guess that might have let me pivot out into Mega Low Punny for Fake Out, but it's gonna get it back with with a. Uh, Black Sludge anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And yeah, Aqua Tail would have been on the borderline of a 2 a KO anyway because of... Ooh, that is very defensive. 
and it does get black sludge back, so this is really not good. It's probably going to try to hazard stack me now. I'm going to U-turn into Zygarde. No, I should hard switch into Zygarde if I'm really sure that he's going to uh, just take this time to set up Toxic Spikes, which I can't imagine he doesn't. I don't have the Alola Muck, which was probably a mistake on my part. Um, yeah, this is probably max defense, too. Yeah, okay. Max defense makes a whole lot more sense. Up against my Zygarde, it actually probably takes 1,000 arrows. So I immediately regret my decision, but yeah, assuming that this is max defense, it's going to be able to take 1,000 arrows and... and, uh... hit me with an Ice Beam. I need more damage onto this thing. Although, the fact that he's thinking, I don't know, he might not want to take an, um, he might not want to take another Aqua Tail just to keep it healthy enough to deal with my Zygarde. No, okay, he does stay in, but there's no way that he, like, clicks Ice Beam or something. I have to imagine you just go for the Toxic Spikes here. Ice Punch, wow. Wow. Okay. Okay, I got red pretty darn hard. So, okay. It's gonna have the poison jab for my Tapu Fini, but the fact that this thing is physical is a pretty good sign. But that's, ugh, that's pretty bad. Let's see. Poison jab. With sheer force. It's gonna be close to a 2 KO, even on, even on me. Um, what would he switch in? Starmie? No, Superior. Huh. Should I double? Should I double into the Infernate? This is bad. I'm not in a good spot at all. Hmm. Maybe I go into... Maybe I double into Infernate. Because I'm really tempted to just Moonblast into this thing, in all honesty. Although, realistically... Mm, let me see. Well, no. Realistically, on the first Leaf Storm, I'd be fine if I just go into Infernate then. I think. I feel like I just click Surf. I feel like I just click Surf here. I'm gonna click Surf. Withdraws. Do we see the Superior? I think that's the Superior. Man, I got really thrown off by that Zygarde play. I thought he for sure he would go for Toxic Spikes. For sure. That's about right damage-wise. It is leftovers. He could be screens. I know he likes his freaking screens. Um, that honestly makes me want to go into... My low pony. Is low pony even a good play here? <laughs> low pony. It could be. It could be. Man, I should have packed Ice Punch myself on my... on my low pony. That would have helped me so much against the Queen. That would have helped me so much against the Queen. This Nita Queen might be a huge, huge problem for my whole team. This is going to be a really rough match. I, I feel like he straight read me. I feel like he made that play to, to just to read me. It was for the sub. That's fine. I can return into this superior. 
It's going to get a Leaf Storm off, but High Jump Kick is going to... It's going to force me to High Jump Kick, which is uh, not ideal, but... I'm not upset about it. Because, also, what that allows me to do is... Well, he wouldn't switch out, but if he did ever want to switch out, then... Unless he goes for the Reflect right now, and if he did go for the Reflect... Well, the Superior could also have Protect. Um, but he would have to fear me having Ice Punch as well. So, I don't know. This thing would have to be running at least a little bit of all to avoid High Jump Kick. Having the chance to Oko, even after this turn. So, I feel like he would want to play this carefully. If he gets the Reflect up now, then I feel like I wouldn't mind that as much. But I'm not sure. Man, this is actually really bad. I mean, losing Zygarde... Okay, so Zygarde isn't, wasn't the most valuable member to the team, but... Against his particular team, but... Uh, it honestly put pressure on, and it's Scarfed, so... Mm, I don't know. There's the return. Do we see the reflect? Leaf Storm. That's fine. I imagine we take this. Yeah, we take it decently fine. And like I said, High Jump Kick still threatens him. Does he have the Protect though? <laughs> um, protect would straight take myself out. <sighs> I feel like I have to risk it. Yeah, this battle's actually really bad. I have to think this through in a little bit. Uh... I guess we do it. If he has the Protect, then he has the Protect. He doesn't have the Protect. We do land it, and this should take him out. Yeah, it just takes him out outright. Okay. That was an interesting turn of events. Maybe he thought that I was going to fear the Protect, and I definitely did, but maybe he thought that I would do something else on that 50-50. But this is a max attack, adamant, low punny. It's pretty much what this low punny was supposed to do. Um, as for everything else... He'd probably go into the Persia now. I'm really curious to see what Sylvali type he has. But... Yeah, I don't know. I guess he didn't want anything else taking a high jump kick. Definitely the Persian wasn't the switch in, but... Uh, the Sylvali? Man, mm, I don't know. I mean, Starmie possibly, if it's a Scarf Starmie. Scarf Starmie would be pretty bad for my team in general. Um, what is my, yeah, okay, my Infernape is Scarfed. My Infernape and my Zygarde were both Scarfed. So, he doesn't know that yet, obviously, but, uh, that could be my only answer. Well, no, a Scarf Star would outspeed me, theoretically. This thing comes out. Does he take this as an opportunity for, for Toxic Spikes? I feel like he would. I feel like he would. Um, but that would be my opportunity to go into Necrozma. And... Yeah. Let's just start looking at Necrozma here, because... I feel like Necrozma is going to be my win con in the longer run. Poison Jab. Maybe expected my Feeny to come in. We are a decently defensive Necrozma. It's going to give me at least one free Calm Mind. He could go into the Alolan Persian, which would be unfortunate. But like I said, we are decently defensive. And uh, we are a special Necrozma, which will be able to hit the Persian on the special side. Persian. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a move that hit Persian super hard. So, I only have Heat Wave to really hit this Persian. Alolan Persian. 
And I can't imagine this being too offensive of a Persian, but my special attack is at plus one. I feel like at plus two, we threaten a KO, but he could parting shot. Yeah, we do somewhat threaten a KO at plus two. I feel like the bet. <sighs> I feel like the only play is to try to boost up with the Charisma. I don't even know what type of Persian this is. What moves would he have to hit me with? Probably packing U turn parting shot. Well, no, maybe not U turn. I don't know. Foul play. I am. I am uh, old, so I am a minus attack nature. And. Yeah, I'm bold, so I'm. I have higher defense and lower attack, so that's in best case scenario for foul play, I guess. And I just reveal Moonlight here. If I get to plus three, then I definitely threaten a KO onto this Persian. If he parting shots me, then I get back to uh, back up to full for free. If he foul plays me, goes for the taunt. Okay, that's not ideal. That's not ideal. So taunt, foul play, parting shot. He could parting shot me now. Um, but I'm just going to click Heat Wave. Goes for the foul play. That's going to bring me down pretty darn low. As I go for the Heat Wave, and I miss the Heat Wave. Okay. Okay. And I'm not going to have any other opportunities to Moonlight up, except on that... Except on that. Need a queen. Okay. Yeah, I think I think I'm just gonna have to try and heal up on the on the Nita Queen. That's my only chance for my Necrozma to come in. And I honestly think my Necrozma is a win con at this point. It's genuinely really unfortunate, but I think the only way that I win this is if Necrozma goes in. Goes for the foul play. It's not gonna do much of anything. It's gonna be a very free moon blast. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be an incredibly free Moon Blast. In fact, it's also a free Calm Mind as well. Do I try with this thing? What does he have to hit me? The the Anita Queen? I'm going to plus one. Goes for the parting shot. So I'm going to get back up to neutral, which is something. But I'm going to be at, at a raise of special defense. A raise stage of special defense. I don't know, man. That heat wave was bad. Does go into Needle Queen. I know you're max defensive, but what's my Feeny doing with a Surf? Surf is a 2 KO. I could call mind up. I don't think it's worth it. Mm. Is it worth it? I could just give up the boost and go into my Electros. No, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna click serve. I'm just gonna click serve. It goes for the poison jab. I don't think it's gonna do. Ugh, that does a decent amount. It's okay though. It's okay. <sighs> Getting rid of this needle queen is gonna be huge. It's gonna open up the door a lot for my, for my infernate for my low punny. I wish for my Zygarde, but apparently not. 
Electros might be a, might be a liability at this point. It might just it's gonna be sw a switch into certain things, but I don't know. I had a pretty much as bad of a start to a game as you can have with not clicking U-turn and following that up with giving up my Zygarde for absolutely nothing. What type is this? So volley flying. What does that mean? Are you... What does that mean? I'm at plus one defense. I'm at, I'm at plus one special defense, and I'm a defensive Tapu Fini. What are you going to do? Air Slash me? Let me see. All right, let's just calc out Air Slash. Um, what's this thing called? So volley. So volley flying with... Air Slash. Air Slash should not be doing a whole lot. And part of me thinks I just clicked Moonblast. I, I should also... Mm, I should just click Defog as well. I don't think this thing's going to set up on me. The fact that it's flying means that it's probably going to have Air Slash and not be physical, I would imagine. So I don't think I have to fear Swords Dance. Should I just give up this Feeny? But I also do want to deal some damage to this thing. I'll just click Defog. I feel like that's... For the longer run, so it could be physical because of multi-attack flying. Did, didn't think of that, but... Ooh, it's a crit. Okay, that... I feel like that crit mattered. To be fair, it could have been a completely offensive... So, Volley. Uh, but let's see. Multi-attack. Multi-attack should not have done that much. I guess I'll have to find out how much attack investment he had later on, but... That's looking like a yikes. I could just go into my Electros, and I'll probably just U-turn. I'll probably just U-turn. There's no reason for him to want to stay in, and there's no reason for... me to click Thunderbolt. Goes for the straight withdrawal, doesn't go for the parting shot, or doesn't have the parting shot. Goes into this thing. I'm, I feel like I do about a quarter. Yeah, okay. I saw from the previous calc, and I believe I remember that correctly. Um, so what is? So actually, yeah, what does that tell me? Does that mean? That might mean that this thing is has no real defensive investment. Let me take a look. And then I would have a no drawback low plenty play right now. Well, this thing is Scarf. No, this thing definitely switched moves. Yeah, no, it definitely switched moves. So, let me see here. Where are you, Electros? Okay, Electros against Persian. I have to be sure about this. Because I feel like that means no defensive investment. Well, okay, let's give it max HP just for just for argument's sake. Huh. It could well, let me see. Max defense. Max defense with fur coat. It might not be max defense. No, it actually has to be max defense. I'm also going to run out of time. So actually, let me go into Infernape here. Actually, th this could be a bad play, because now I'm actually kind of revealing Scarf if I go first. But U-Turn is going to do a decent amount no matter what. And I and I have the Electros to switch into, so I'm okay with it. If he parting shots, that'd be unfortunate, but I do have the U-Turn next turn, so I don't know. It could give the the Altaria a free Dragon Dance, but at that at this point, I don't think that that's where my concern should be. 
especially because my Infernape is scarfed with Gunk Shot, and this is pretty much the situation that it's, you know, designed to be in. And hey, Electros is no slouch. Electros can put in some damage against that dang Altaria. And he, he has to assume that I brought this thing in for a reason, first of all. But, yeah, that is hecka decent damage. And I do have the Electros to go into, and uh, I have to imagine he clicks Parting Shot. I can't imagine him clicking anything else. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So now where, did we, now where do we go from here? I cannot believe I gave up my Zygarde like that, man. This game would be completely different if I had my Zygarde. I just... I didn't expect that he does go into this thing. Okay. Well, I do have Acid Spray on this thing, which I didn't count out, but I am pretty darn curious. Well, no. Okay, so this is the thing. I have to make a decision now, because if this thing gets to plus two, then my Infernape is basically useless. Altaria Mega. Acid Spray on its own is doing about 20 to 25 percent, and then it's only going to get more over time. At plus two, at plus two, it does about half. I have to decide now, because, okay, so if it attacks me, then going back, then you turning back into Infernape is a horrible, horrible, like, oh, I'm also at minus one. Ooh, that's a thing to think about, too. But if it attacks me, then I have no real safe thing to go into. I could potentially give up the Necrozma here. I could potentially give up the Necrozma here. But I really don't want to do that, man. But I don't know. I, I'm not going to have any opportunity to set up on anything on, on his team. I'm going to click Acid Spray. If, if this thing gets a plus two, then I think it beats me. But at the same time, just some prior damage on this thing would allow my low punny later on to start faking this thing out and maybe we can go on from there just goes for like bird voice okay so very very glad that it didn't click u-turn although mm, that i didn't switch out okay okay so i think that's just because i'm at minus one but we do get the harsh fall <sighs> another hyper voice does take me out Is there any reason not to just give up my my Electros now? It's not going to do anything against Starmie. The best thing you can do from, from here is U-turn. But it's not going to take hits. Actually, yeah, I'm at minus one, so what does that damage tell me? Minus one special attack. As the spray does 14 to 17, that looks about right for no investment. Huh. Okay. Man, my necrozma. Mmm. I feel like I have to give up Necrozma. The better play is to give up Necrozma, I think. Okay. Okay. Only because... Only because... 
Um, foul play from... Foul play from... Persian. I could, pro I could maybe take one from a Persian on my Electros, and then maybe I can... Maybe it still has use for me in that capacity, but I don't see Necrozma going in anymore. I don't see that happening. So what's my Infernape doing to a Mega Altaria? Oof, Gunk Shot is a roll. Like, a very huge roll. Okay, the real question is, can I win this with just Low Punny and... Infernate. Because I feel like I have to. I feel like what I have to do is get some fake out damage with my low pony. Then give up my Electros. And then gunk shot with. And then gunk shot with. Uh. The other thing. And then gunk shot with my Infernape. But it's also going to depend on this damage, right? So we, so this looks like 80% to me. Gunk Shot's a little bit of a roll. It's going to depend on HP investment for sure. I feel like it's not invested defensively, but I guess, I don't know. I, f I don't feel comfortable risking that. I just clicked Fake Out. Fake Out is pretty free against whatever he wants to bring out. Um, so Valley would have to be pretty darn defensive. Actually, yeah, so Valley has a chance to pretty much wall the rest of my team. There's the fake out. Uh, I think we can judge based on that damage that any other hits are not going to do anything, pretty much. Fake out did about ten percent. How is that even possible? How? Man, yeah, there is really no way that we win this. Is there any... And yeah, and I don't think I can win this if I give up my... Low Punny. I have to go into, uh... My Electros. Give that up. To the incoming Hyper Voice. Goes for the Roost. So, I don't think you, you would give me another chance to Acid Spray here, although you could. If you use this to Dragon Dance, if you use this opportunity to Dragon Dance up, then I'm, like, actually pretty much done. Like, genuinely pretty much done. Goes for the Hyper Voice. And... That's gonna be the game. That is definitely the game, because... I'm actually, like, all out of gas. Uh, this Infernape would have to crit with Gunk Shot. And he would have to, like, miss Hyper Voice. Or we just take tank a Hyper Voice, which I don't know if we can do. But, I don't know. If there's a chance that we do that, then that'd be neat. But, uh, this was bad. This was a very bad loss. I don't see a way that we can win this, and it's... Mm, this was a really rough loss. This was a really rough loss. Um... Again, that Zygarde, man. Giving up with that Zygarde for no reason was so huge. Withdraws. Into... Starmie. I'm Scarfed. Is this thing also Scarfed? Because if this is a two-hit KO, then... Oh, it's barely not a two-hit KO. It's leftovers. 
Well, there's no chance at all that my low punny can 1v1 the Altaria. So, this is going to be the game, but... It was fun, I guess. <laughs> um, maybe we can crit or get, like, a stupidly high roll, but... Uh... We do get the poison, which is neat. <sighs> Man. We, we should theoretically bring it down to a 3 0, unless he uh, switches out his. His Silvali. Actually, yeah, his Silvali is probably designed to take hits super duper well, but. Man, missing that heat wave was actually huge. You think that heat wave was actually huge. And yeah, actually, I, ugh, that heat wave could have been huge. Could have been really huge because that U turn from my Infernave brought it under half, and theoretically, that, that U turn from Infernave should have probably taken it out. But it's fine. We can just click fake out. And the only way we win is if we get a whole lot of crits. A whole lot of crits. Between the heat wave miss and I don't even know if this thing is max happiness. I guess this is where we test out whether my low pony is max happiness. Uh okay. Thankfully I got that right. But, yeah, this is actually a pretty rough loss. Because, yeah, if that person wasn't around, then that could have changed a lot. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. That's going to be the match, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the PGBL. And we really need to win out at this point. Uh, but we're also going to have more weeks of the SBN and uh, of a lot more stuff to come in the future but with that once again thank you guys so much for watching and everyone once again out